Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to attempt to show you what a shader cache is, how it works, and how you can build one in-game. For the purpose of this video, I have loaded into game with no shader cache active into the Akala region near the Akala Ancient Lab. As you can see, I am getting quite a bit of stutter. This stutter is not related to CMU, it is related to your cache being built while you are playing the game. It can get fairly horrendous at times and will almost seem like your game is broken. Let's attempt to fight this guardian with no shader cache. It's going to be quite difficult. As you can see, any time the Guardian performs a new action my shader hasn't seen before, or this flame key say creates a new fire trail that my shader cache also hasn't seen before, the game stutters quite profusely. However, as you are about to see, the flames are now loaded into our shader. When this key say dies, the smoke that it produces also has to load into my shader, so we got a small bit of stutter when that happens. You are about to see what happens when we get hit by the beam and the shader has to load that again. And there you go, we get hit by the beam and it has to load into our shader again, causing our game to stutter. Okay, now that we have all these shaders from this fight, let's do a beam reflect and get those shaders. Perfect, we did a beam reflect but our shield broke. Let's pick out a new one and aim this one back at the guardian. There we go, it wasn't easy, but we hit him. Right, let's finish this guardian off with an ancient arrow. And once again, as you can see, when we have to load the animation for the ancient arrow, it stutters our game. Now hitting a guardian directly in the eye like this with an ancient arrow kills it outright. The stutter was so bad when these shaders were compiling into my cache that I actually had to speed up the footage times two. And there we go, we now have all the shaders loaded into our cache for a battle against a guardian. Let's go fight this other guardian over here and show that we now have the shaders for these guardian interactions in our cache. As you can see, we no longer get any stutter with any of the animations either I or the guardian make. We can reflect back perfectly, and when we use our ancient arrow, we get no stutter. And when the guardian is being destroyed, no stutter either. This is basically what your shader cache does. It loads all the textures and all the interactions that happen in game into the cache itself and make your game eventually stutter free. As you can see, my FPS is now completely locked in this area to 30 FPS. Doing interactions such as using runes, fighting enemies, gliding all over the world and teleporting to different towers in regions will fill your shader cache quickly. Once again, cheers for checking out the video guys, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, contact me over on Twitter if you have any questions in relation to CMU, any games on it or compatibility issues, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.